Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include EU rescues four Spanish banks European Commission announces its decision to improve the job seekers mobility network Angela Merkel and David Cameron discuss UK EU exit over dinner special temporary measures for the recruitment of officials and temporary staff of the EU and I take a quick review of Eurocon episode 2 I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit nightly news Fresh in on our homepage, four Spanish banks who have had their balance sheets trashed by the real estate implosion and economic turmoil in the Eurozone are to be rescued by the EU. You've really got to commend the press jockeys in Europe on their use of language to obfuscate another bailout. Bottom line, this is another 48 billion added to the 130 billion stuck on the ECB's charge card. Dr. Eric Edmund will be having a field day with this one. I'll keep you posted as the implosion accelerates. In our top 10 section, we have got a stunning tale of fumbling thumbs and feet shuffling. Our neighbouring EU cranially deficient kleptocrats have decided that with 25 million people unemployed throughout Europe, their strategy should be to revamp the EU RES website and target young people with a get on your bike message. Apparently, Young people are more likely to leave their homes, families and communities to go find work elsewhere in Europe. Now this is a story that's going to get much higher profile in the coming year and we'll keep you posted. I see from our front page that Le Bon Premier David Cameron was out to lunch on Wednesday. This story looks at the underlying reason that Angela Merkel is batting her eyelashes at Mr Cameron over a cheese sandwich as she tries to persuade DC to keep dishing out the sterling wrapped gumdrops from the UK Treasury's sweetie jar. Packed with astonishing figures being sucked out of the UK taxpayers' pockets, if you read one story on our site today, this should be it. The links are below. As Croatia prepares for ascension to the EU, Parliamentary HR boffins are colluding to put in place positive discrimination so that the Croats might be fairly represented in Brussels. OK, so first off, there can't be positive discrimination. Something is either discriminatory or it's not. By its very nature, if something leans positively in favour of one group, then this must be negative for the other groups. Now this is apparently urgent legislation and needs to be rushed through. We've got the full details in our legislation section and the links are below. Finally, a quick reminder about our in-depth programme Eurocon. Perhaps I could recommend a little light viewing for the weekend. In episode 2, I speak with Dr Eric Edmund about the deepening Eurozone economic crisis and the lovely Kate Reeves takes us through the whys and wherefores of renegotiation between Britain and the EU. Grab yourself a coffee and take a look. The links are below. Well, that's all from me for this week at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the EUnit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. Finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of our team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus anytime. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. Mm-hmm.